optimal hyperplane. Now let me show you that how we can make the optimal hyperplane. Why optimal hyperplane is very important in support vector machine. The hyperplane must be optimal. Look at here, this is my XY plane. Again, these are two my data classes. Let me draw the decision boundary vertically here. This is my hyperplane. And these are my support vectors. These are my two distances. And this is my margin distance, which is my M1, margin one. Let me draw another machine model here, another support vector machine model. If I draw the decision board in this pattern, this is my hyperplane, and these are my support vectors. These are two distances, D negative and D positive, and this is my margin two. So I give the name M2, this is my margin distance. So it is very much clear that M2 is greater than M1. The margin distance M2 is greater than the margin distance M1. Therefore, we can say that the right side is the optimal hyperplane and the left side is not the optimal hyperplane. Optimal hyperplane means this is the hyperplane. This is the hyperplane that we must have maximum distance, maximum distance from the support vectors. You must have maximum distances here. When you look to the left side, we have the same data pattern. This is my data class one and this is my data class two. I have the same data pattern. If I draw the decision boundary at 90 degree, from here, from x axis. If I draw it vertically, if I draw it vertically, this is my support vector, which touches this dotted line. This is my second support vector, which touches this dotted line. And this is my hyperplane. The middle line, the middle line is the hyperplane. It is at 90 degree. This is my first distance, the negative. On the right side, we have the positive. This is my second distance. From here up to here is one distance. From here up to here is my second distance. But the overall distance between the two dotted lines is called the margin distance, margin distance. So I gave the name M1. This is my M1. Now I pick the same data pattern. I pick the same data pattern of the SVM machine. Look, this is SVM machine model. Look, this is my one SVM machine model. This is my second SVM machine model. So if I pick the same model with the same data pattern, but this time what I'm doing, I'm driving the decision boundary in this way around like uh, you can say that 120 degree or 130 degree. So this is my dotted line which touches the data points here. Now this is my support vector. Here this is my support vector. If you remember last time this was my support vector. But here this is my support vector. And then if I draw the hyperplane. The distance of the hyperplane from both of the dotted lines or from both of the support vectors must be maximum. Then only we can say that it is the optimal hyperplane, optimal hyperplane. Now, if you compare the distance, if you compare the distance of this hyperplane from both of the dotted lines with this hyperplane from both of the dotted lines, it is very much clear that M2, M2 margin distance 2 is greater than M1, margin distance 1, because this distance from here up to here is less than this distance from here up to here. This is the correct hyperplane. So we can say that this is the optimal hyperplane or the maximal hyperplane. Therefore, this machine model is not successful because the hyperplane is not the optimal hyperplane. Look, this machine model is not good. So you can see here that both of the models are the support vector machine model, but this model is not optimal. This is not good. And this is the correct model. This is the optimal model with the optimal hyperplane. The maximum you have the margin distance, the better your support vector machine model will be. So it is the best model of the support vector machine.